Hey guys, the Ubisoft chill is here. As we all know, video games only became a thing in 2007. So I'm going to go through briefly the total official game awards and sharing my views. So without further ado, let's begin. So in 2007, the nominees were Halo 3, Mass Effect, The Orange Box and Bioshock. And it was certainly no shock who won. Assassin's Creed. Yes, Assassin's Creed infiltrated the first ever Game Awards and won Game of the Year. It's beautiful to go over this underdog story once again. 2008 saw a thoroughly well-deserved win by a highly anticipated sequel, Assassin's Creed Altair Chronicles. Some would say 2009 was a special year in gaming. Batman Arkham Asylum, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Left for Dead 2, and of course, the anticipated sequel, Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. It was incredible to see the second main installment of the franchise win the award in 2009. Nolan North was ecstatic when the game he was a part of won, which was Assassin's Creed 2. So another year rolled past, and it was a year of sequels once again. But one game debuted an iconic character, John Marston, and his adventure as an outdated outlaw. But unfortunately, Rockstar failed to win again and came runner-up to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. 2011 was a great year for video games. I mean, look at this list. But there was one game that stood the test of time, and you could say literally traveled through time, as it was Assassin's Creed Revelations. Still a great game so many years later. 2012, the year the world was meant to end. So it was fitting for so many games to have that theme. So this game involved stealth, it involved assassinations, a hood was worn, and it involved teleporting in the series over a decade before its distant successor AC Mirage. Yes, Dishonored, a game about Corvo's world ending in front of his eyes and his quest for redemption. 2013 saw some strong choices emerge at the Game Awards. GTA V and Last of Us, to name a couple with the criminal protagonists of GTA V emerging out of a life of crime scot-free, depending on the ending you choose. Death Wish is the correct answer, but I do have a ASMR fetish for Stephen Ogg burning alive. Ah, very soothing sounds. Time for Betty Buys. But the real winner of 2013 was about a man who was thrusted into a hostile setting by life's cruel circumstances who lost every woman he loved over the course of the game, but the remaining daughter figure who reminds him of a past loved one is his last hope for the family life. Sadly, he dies a less heroic death than fans would have wanted, surrounded by the screams of his loved ones and his final thoughts were his failings but later avenged by his child protege, or should I say children. Yes, Assassin's Creed Black Flag emerges from the depths of the Seven Seas as the triumphant victor of the 2013 Game of the Year awards. 2014 was a crazy year in gaming. 8th gen consoles had become the latest generation of consoles, but the 7th generation remained hugely popular among fans, so the Game Awards decided to have a winner for each console generation. Assassin's Creed Rogue won with flying colours, due to its flawless writing that does not contradict anything prior to in the series, and execution of the Assassins and Templars, creating a completely neutral morality between both factions, making it impossible to select which one is the good guys or bad guys. And of course, using brand new game assets to hammer home the point of innovation in the series. It may have also won because it was the only game that came out on the 7th generation consoles in 2014. Assassin's Creed Unity won Game of the Year for the 8th generation of consoles 
as it pushed the industry by setting new standards. 2015, a year of IPs skyrocketing to the top of the all-time sales and fan favourite lists, or imploding worse than Tywin Lannister on the shitter. The winner this year had the most sophisticated parkour system on display, a huge array of weaponry, great characters, well-written dialogue, and featured intimidating antagonists along with well thought out humour. So Assassin's Creed Syndicate failed in all of those categories and therefore failed to win Game of the Year and the game that triumphed in every category was The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. 2016 was a strange year for the awards as the video game industry was being exploited for their character models on adult sites. So this meant every game that featured on one of these sites was banned from the awards. Yes, including Titanfall 2, as some of the developers decided as a passion project to animate the giant mech suits in highly irregular positions. Multiple at a time, the pilot entered the mech, however not through the usual entrance, which was highly irregular and against all procedures. This caused the security alert, the security mechs arrived, and they began to After such a rowdy display of affection, the mech had to be repaired. As a result, the winner of the 2016 awards was Assassin's Creed the Movie, the only award the film ever won. 2017 was a breath of fresh air, as we saw the wilderness explored throughout multiple games. Anakin Skywalker was unhappy with the winner, as sand was coarse, rough, and got all over the place. The winner, Assassin's Creed Origins. 2018 was the year of self-discovery in video games. If it was a grand adventure, covering unfamiliar terrain, or discovery within, an odyssey of such. Not anyone's odyssey, but our odyssey. The protagonist born in Sparta, but they have become something else. The winner, God of War 4. The 2019 Game Awards was cancelled as an organisation decided to pull out of the event due to PR reasons. Many fans speculate Ubisoft were behind the cancelling of the event, as Assassin's Creed not winning Game of the Year for two years consecutively would be bad for the image of the brand. Meanwhile, Ubisoft were not so protective of their own employees, allegedly. 2020 was a tough year for many, and became a tougher year after playing certain games. A writer returning to the series after their last entry in 2013 was heavily praised. The story has a rivalry, that is the underlying catalyst for most events in the story, with the dark-haired playable character failing to take revenge on the blonde female playable character at the end of the game. The entire story spawned from a naughty dog, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla was humanity's favourite game and the Siege of Paris expansion was not like any other siege. Dull, nothing to do, starving fans of something entertaining, and takes a long time to conclude. It won Game of the Year. 2022 felt like it would be the dawn of a new age in gaming. However, we were all wrong. With Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Dawn of Ragnarok expansion dominating the awards and loved by everyone. 2023 felt like a mirage when I think back. The winner keeps flickering out of reality. One minute they're there, the next they're gone. Almost like they're teleporting. Almost like a mirage. An Assassin's Creed mirage. The awards are set to take place later in the year, but as of current trends, reports, and bribery, Assassin's Creed, codenamed Jade, looks set to win the 2024 awards. Well, that concludes the history of the Game of the Year awards, so yeah, let me know who you think should have won each year, and I'll tell you why it's Assassin's Creed. Thanks again for making it this far, I've been the Ubisoft Shill, and I'll see y'all next time.